uh, like camp out on the in the living room. Wow! It's like guys and their girlfriends. They would come in and it was a real treat. And it was she would bring their students to meet these guys, and they were like kids, like you know, kids in war. So yeah. whatever politics you have, they're just kids going into war and getting fucked up. Yeah. So basically, uh, I would s- became friendly with them over the years, and I would go volunteer at their like their uh, rehab centers in Israel, and they'd come to New York to, to get surgeries. And I just thought I'd, I really, that was a guiding uh, experience in my in my life. So I wanted to be involved in that as mm-hmm. a surgeon. So every now and then we bring in some people from other countries like war-torn and mm-hmm. you get to operate in them. I have some really great guys in the hospital that we uh, kind of, they kind of help out and volunteer their ex- expertise. Uh-huh. So that's kind of cool, and we have a good time with them. They're young; guys. they're just guys, and like born in the, in the wrong place, and uh, yeah. have to go to war. It's kind of sucks. What are some of the stuff that you see? That see you a lot have of to burns. Do? Really? See a lot of burns. A lot of shrapnel. A lot of like uh, faces that are get like fucked up from you know from IEDs and other. Yeah, exactly. So uh, then sometimes like even the girls like with, they, we've done some like cosmetic surgery on them just to like you know give them a little. Yeah. They'll pick me up after they get really messed up. But, like, it goes on the spectrum from small things like s- scar revision to, you know, big-time face surgeries. Really? So that's, that's kind of fun. I enjoy that a lot. And, uh, and it's ba- a good experience. And the little baby face? Baby face is also like a cleft palate kind of yeah. thing. I mean, there are big centers in the city where people come and people should go. But sometimes a lot of places, people can't get to those places. So... So you've involved. traveled? Have you traveled? We've traveled. To? We've traveled to Dominican and really done a lot of fun stuff. What's what's that experience like? Because I imagine like crazy. you know you, you're you're going with a lot less equipment. Crazy. And, it's and crazy. Really. It's crazy stuff. You go in and like you pack like a little operating room in your in your in your valise. Wow. And you go to like a they put like a they they put like a sign on like like in the neighborhood like on a on a tree yeah. and they're like oh. Line up on this day if your kid is uh, has, has some issues, yeah. And then you have to triage. Like they they all come down and they're like dirt poor and like they would never get to New York or let alone like you know navigate this issues. Yeah. So then you like they have like a school and you set up an operating room in like their school, like an old like a school is not like our schools. It's like a you know old old schools. Like the air is not moving. It's like mm-hmm. so damp. And then you set up operating room and someone holds like a flashlight and. You whip it, you whip it, hap- you make it happen. Oh. It's pretty awesome. And then they give you like a Presidente at the end of the day. I love that. Love my Presidentes. They, they were delicious. Yes. Right? You know, and then you just go, you come home. It's, it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's pain in the ass, like, you know, the logistics, but at the end of the day, it's, it's kind rewarding. of rewarding. It's and, kind of fun. And now you, you know, you can surf in the DR too. So, I mean, you can, you can kind of bundle both of those exactly. together. I've never had, I go with non server so it's kind of hard to, but yeah, you <laughs> But the thing is, I get this. I get, get kind of that that uh, that, buzz. that buzz from hanging out in Rockaway, getting you know, <laughs> with the locals that don't have to travel so far, and you can whip someone clothes in, in the backyard on the take off stitches on the boardwalk. What? So now, what is the gnarliest thing you've ever had to repair? Like, what's the thing that like that you still are like, oh my god, that was crazy. I was so basically the. Some of these face crunches are pretty nuts. Like what do you mean board, face crunches. Board, like, the skin when it goes through this the skin, it's uh it's one thing, but sometimes these boards they go through like skin and bone, break the skull. Yeah. Go through, you're looking at some brain and the wound. So then you have to call I have a I have a baby brother. Yeah. And he's a he's a trauma surgeon also. He's oh, like wow. a, he's a He's a little more hardcore, but he like he'll do the bone stuff. So I'll bring him in, little Joshy. Little Joshy, does yeah. Joshy surf too? Josh, I took him out. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's it's like, why do you keep bringing these surfers to me? <laughs> exactly. He's basically that's what he's doing. He's like, he goes, I'm I'm ten years older, so I'm like more, I can have more time on my hands. Yeah. He's like, I'm just trying to make a living. He's got four kids. Oh man. So he's like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big stop. I was like, yeah, Josh, you'll figure it out. Now, you also have a sister, too? A how sister. Many, how many kids are there? The three. You? I'm the oldest. I have a sister, Aviva. She's a, a chef in the city. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she... Where is she? Where she's is on she? the Upper West Side, but she does catering events. Oh, Shout nice. out to Viva. Buy the yeah. merch. Buy nice. the merch. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> 
if you need catering, <laughs> just just contact. Yeah, you. catering. Yeah. You know. <laughs> shred. 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 Viva Shred. Viva Shred. That's the shirt. I think so. That's cool. I, think so. I don't know. I like maybe, that. maybe it isn't. Who knows? Does she surf? I, she's she went. We went out yesterday. Yeah. She's you know? she's giving it a go. She's giving it a go. This is her first season. I'm terrible at pushing her. I'm terrible. That's an art, right? Yeah. Well, you may want to put her into a, one of the schools or, yeah, or yeah. with, with like a, 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 a coach, you know, something like that, yeah. you know, that might, uh, that kind of, kind of helps. Cause kinda helps. you know, cause I, I always feel like, um, giving lessons to people who are close to me is harder, uh, because there's, you can't treat them a certain way, you know, that you would like a, someone that you don't know. And, and so it makes it, you know, th th there's other dynamics that are at play that make it more complicated. You know, there's, That's you have the sibling relationship going on there already. So there's, there are certain things playing out from your childhood in the water, oh, I man. think, you know, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, or like with my wife and pushing her into waves, like I can't, She's like, just stop cheering for me, okay? You know, I'm like, that's great, awesome, woohoo, nice wave. And she's like, shut up, you're embarrassing me, you know? It. So, so it's like different dynamics. Whereas if it's someone you didn't know and you're cheering them on, they're not going to be like, shut up, you know? Right, Diva, you go into surf camp. Yeah. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, Dion, Dion Canada Surf Club is a, is a great, great program. All the guys, all the guys on the, in the vans yes. that I've sewn up have always asked me anytime. They're, they're so generous. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, Oswaldo. Oswaldo. Got a board from him for Viva. Nice. Yeah, there you go. So much love. That, isn't that nice? Oh, it's just, well, you, you've built up goodwill in the community, and you know you can now utilize it in different ways. In. Yeah, you can cash in. Yeah, if you want it, whatever, <laughs> whatever you need. Ty, you've been so nice to me. Whatever you need. Well, I just, you know, I just need. Uh, I don't need anything. Else, but yeah, if I get stit, if I need stitches now, I know where to go. Just call any time. What um. What board are you riding right now? Let's get into the bro dims. My bro dims? Yeah, let's get into your bro dims here. We want, you wanted to discuss this earlier on, so... Yeah, so basically, I've been going to uh, Breakwater yeah. uh, down the block, mm -hmm. and over the past few years, I bought a couple boards, Okay. and Sean's watched me grow into the boards, and he's kind of shaking his head, but he lets me, he lets me go. He goes, yeah. this is your journey. Yes. You figure it out. You know, so basically I started off uh, right now. I'm on a Chumley. Okay. Yeah. Fun those board. are fun. Yeah. Fun those are board. nice, thick, beefy boards, right? Fun board, like five, eight. Wow. But a lot of volume, right? It's like 38 liters. something. Okay. 38 liters yeah. at a five, eight. That's it's, like, it's nice. that's a lot of volume it's compacted packed. into a small board. Like I normally ride like a 38, 40 liter board in a six, four. So yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, I'm like that guy. Like I wanted to like, you want to have fun, want to have fun, want a sexy waves. board. Yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. Everyone's like, that's too small for you. I'm like, yeah, it is probably too small yeah, for you. Just say it. Just yeah. say it. Yeah. Um, how tall are you? I'm six foot with the fro. Six foot with the fro. So, I mean... You know, I would say, where should I be? You know, personally, personally, I like, you know, it depends, right? It depends, like, because you can ride small boards and small waves and, and skate around, which is kind of fun. Right. Uh, when the waves get bigger, I like a longer rail um, because one, you can draw out your turns really nice. Two, um, there's swing weight that I like. You know, when I can do a turn and there's a longer board, you can feel the nose pulling the board around a little bit more, whereas the smaller board like sometimes can chatter, can skip, and you could fit it in tighter places. But I like I like draw I love the look of a drawn out turn. You Got know, it. I like uh, a longer rail. I grew up in the '90s, so the boards were longer and thinner. And there's something to that that I enjoy watching. You know, uh, whereas you know when I watch even like Slater now, he used to ride longer boards. You know, and and I like the way he surfed on a longer board than he does now. He rides a much smaller, compact boards, and they just look too flicky to me, and not uh, not as committed to the turns. Even though he's freaking Kelly Slater, you know, I'm not saying he's not committed to the turns, but when you have a longer board, you can't. There's less. You have to commit to every turn, as a, as opposed to a shorter board, you can kind of turn and make adjustments midway through the through the turn almost. Because they're smaller. Yeah, I hear you. I yeah. hear you. I'm just uh, kind of navigating my way. Yeah. The other, the, I just got that board. I'm kind of enjoying it. Uh, last year, past two years, I was riding a Roberts. Like oh, a those six, are nice. A six four Roberts. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice board. That's a nice board. Like with the rocket one, kind it's of a, a little diamond. It's a tail. diamond. It's a, di yeah. it's a white diamond. Yeah, those are it's really a nice. Board. nice. It's a little waterlogged now, but I still kind of enjoy it. Yeah. I was riding that 
that day when I, I was, know. Yeah, that was perfect for that day. I think it was perfect. It was perfect actually. A little waterlog. Yeah, goes a long way. Well, you know, the waterlog is good for the windy offshore days because you can get in it. You know, can drive and dampen the board a exactly. little bit. <laughs> exactly. It's just perfectly waterlogged, just the right amount. If it stays at that, we'll keep it. <laughs> that was the perfect day. I agree with you. It was just like a little, just the right amount of heavy on the back. <laughs> We'll figure out where that warlock's coming from. Man. Exactly. You got to fix that ding. I've you asked know? everyone. I've asked everyone in that house. They don't know Albert, where it is. Everyone, no one can find it. You know, it, uh, sometimes you just got to find the little crack. And then, you know, we, we used to like suck the moisture out of the dings, you know, when I was younger. Sure, that like can probably cause yeah. cancer. But <laughs> you know, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's I don't also- recommend doing that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, probably not. Don't kids. Kids don't don't, 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 don't suck your boards. Don't suck chemical water out of uh, your foam. You know, <laughs> unless it's like you know, uh, like a like a real bio friendly foam or something. Exactly. It's made out of, of like yeah, yeah, you know, made Green. out of mushroom uh, <laughs> mushrooms or fungus or whatever. You know, love it. Uh, any surfers in the New York area? If you need some stitch work done, you you've gotten a gash. Someone's dropped in on you. It's always someone else's fault and not your own. But sometimes you can do a floater and that board flips upside down. Totally. Um, you know, uh, definitely, where can where can our listeners find you, Dr. Joe? So I'm not a big, I don't have the Instagram. I, yeah, I, I noticed I that. I don't have the Twitter. Thank goodness. I don't have the TikTok. But you have the website. I have a website that I never look at. So basically, just call me on my cell phone. <laughs> call me on my cell call phone. Me. Exactly. Call me. Ba- call me maybe. Call me maybe. Nine once. Just no, call. No, no, no. Don't call. give out your phone number it's fine. on air. No, because the office pretty much will call me. So like, okay. instead of you know getting right. the middleman, just call my cell. Okay. It's fine. Where, where can it? Where can it? Just keep call my call? cell. Nine one seven. Yes. Seven nine seven thirty two twenty. That's nine one seven seven nine seven three two. Two zero. You are so gonna regret regret giving that <laughs> That's out. All right. You're gonna so regret. Trust me. You're gonna so regret getting that out. No. Trust me. I deal with <laughs> I deal with so many. I deal with people on the upper east side. You could be getting calls at like one in the morning. That's fine. That's better than a call from like a, a mom at five in the morning yeah. about, you know, can my kid go to camp? Nah. You know, like, that's fine. I'll, I'll take the two o'clock text from well, a surfer. Like I just well, cut out. But if they need to go to your website and they want to check out your credentials, it's uh, drjosephwolf.com. I or? think so. I don't even know. Just go Wolf, Wolf, Joe Wolf, Joseph Joe Wolf, Wolf Joseph on the Wolf, upper east side. Upper east side. Uh, the, uh, the website here, I, I is have the website. Here. Hold on, here we go. Don't here. even do it. Don't even do it. Oh, I'm, I have to do this. They'll find me. They'll, Camille will tell them. Camille. <laughs> They'll find them. Someone in the water will say, just call Wolf. Just call mm. the Wolf. It's, tell it's them the Wolf, Wolf sent you. It's wolfplasticsurgery.com. Yes. So yeah. there we go. Wolfplasticsurgery.com. If you want to look them up, uh, see the nice profile. and um, No pictures on the website. No pictures on the website. We're not going to put any No, no surf shots. No surf shots. No, no. before afters. No before just, and afters. It'll be fine. Just we'll, simple. Just simple. All right. We're going to make it happen. Well, Dr. Joe, we Holy really shit. appreciate having you on the show. Thank you for coming on. It's been a blast. We'll have to have you back on again in the future. Holy shit. Holy Such shit. an honor. <laughs> really an honor. What a treat. Joe, Joe. Thanks and, so much. And uh, for all our listeners, uh, you can find Swell Season on Instagram at Swell Season Surf. Uh, you can also go to our website, swellseasonsurfradio.com, to send us any comments or have any questions. And uh, we'll all catch you on down the line. Bye.